guys, Molly here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my March TBR. So yeah, I don't think I have much to say in the intro today except that all these books are I'm currently reading except one. Uh, I'm not currently reading one of them. So six of them I'm currently reading. So I have seven books in my TBR. It is for Emojiathon, so like I'm not like I don't have like a separate TBR. I'm just like since Emojiathon is a month long T uh month long readathon, I'm just going to do Emojiathon. Since I like doing Emojiathon, it's fun to do and everything. So yeah, let's get started. So the first challenge for Emojiathon is Read a book that you have not read yet and do not know why. And that book I chose was Cress by Marissa Meyer. I'm currently reading this one, so like, but like, I don't know why I have not like finished it or anything. Currently on page 18. I was reading this and then I was like, uh, I want to start when I, the one that I'm currently reading actually. Well, I'm currently reading all of them, obviously. But that's besides the point. So, yeah, um, this is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles, uh, series. First one is about this girl, Cinder, who is a cyborg, and it's like, a these are fairy tale retellings and everything, so, yeah, this is, uh, well, Cinder is Cinderella, Scarlet is Red Riding Hood, Cress is Rapunzel, and then Winter is Snow White and everything so but yeah I'm only on page 18 and I'm enjoying it so far I love this series uh, this is my first time reading it but I don't know why I haven't finished it or really started it since I'm only on page 18 at all so that's why I chose this book for this challenge and the next challenge is read a trip book or a book that involves traveling and that book I chose was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows by J.K. Rowling. Uh, I'm currently reading this one also. Um, I'm on page 452. Uh, um, and yeah, um, this is my first time actually reading Harry Potter, but I'm almost done, I guess. Got like that much left. The book and I'm enjoying it and I like the movies so like and there's a lot of things I'm like and I read this and I was like oh my gosh they don't explain that in the movie because when I was watching the movie I was so confused but I'm finally reading this and I'm enjoying it that's the book I'm currently currently reading and the next uh, challenge is a freebie so any book that you want and that book I chose was City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I am not currently reading this one, so this is one of the books I'm currently not reading. But basically, this is the third book in the Mortal Instruments uh, book. And uh, this is for Emma's book's um, read-along that she's doing for the uh, Shadowhunters books. But this is the third one and everything, and I hope this is good. And I am very excited to read this one. And the fourth challenge that I chose was read a book that was adapted. So this um, basically a book to maybe adaptation. And that book I chose was The Martian by Andy Weir. So this is about a guy who was stranded on Mars and is literally the only person on Mars that he's stranded and everything. So he has to survive. Uh, I'm currently on page 49 out of 369 pages, so hopefully I can get to this one soon and everything. Um, I am still, I think I told you this before, but I don't know, know what so, f uh, I have not gotten to any funny parts yet, so like, a little confused on how it's funny and everything. Everyone's like, it's so hilarious, but like, I guess I haven't gotten to the funny parts yet. I'm only on page 49. But um, it's a lot of chemistry and math, and I was not really expecting that uh, when I came into this. So it's like makes me not really want to read it because it feels like it's just math and like chemistry and science and everything. So yeah, but I hope this it, when I do continue it, I hope it gets funny as people say it is. People say it's hilarious and everything. So I hope it is once I continue. 
And the fifth challenge I chose was read a book that you started but have not finished. And that book I chose for this challenge is Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Again, I'm currently reading this one. But this is um, about uh, the Queen of Hearts before she becomes the Queen of Hearts. So like Catherine uh, and everything. Her real name is Catherine apparently. Uh, I don't know if Marissa made that up or if that's her actual name. But um, I don't really know too much about Alice in Wonderland or the Queen of Hearts since it's not really my favorite Disney movie or anything. Um, so I don't really know too much about it. But pretty much I have been enjoying it. I'm on page 177 uh, out of 449 pages. But I'm really enjoying it so far since, um, so this book was, I've started it obviously, but have not finished it yet. So like, which is like basically all these books except one. I could have chose any of these books, but I'm like, but like, yeah. And everything, so, but she also wrote The Lunar Chronicles, which is Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter. Uh, and everything else. So, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far, and I hope that it continues to be enjoyable. And the next challenge is challenge number six. I only chose seven challenges. Uh, there was like 25 or something. But the next challenge is read a fantasy book. And that challenge, and that book I chose was Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. Um, um, this is my first time reading it, obviously, so I have not, still haven't finished it. But, um, I am on page 131, and there's like 600 and something pages, but this is the third book to the Twilight Saga. Uh, I like the Twilight Saga, I guess, um, and everything. So, yeah, um, not a lot of people like the Twilight Saga, but it's not terrible, but it's not good at the same time. It has those cringy moments, and I'm like, mm, okay. Um, and everything, so I hope I enjoy it. And the next challenge is number seven, so it is read a sci fi book. And that book I chose was Feuds by Avery Hastings. This is about a girl, uh, Davis Morrow. Uh, she is a perfection a human being, so, um, and then she meets this boy, um, Cole, who was an imp, who was an imperfection, and everything, uh, things go down, and it, the, and they meet, and everything, and I am on page 54, and there's like 258 pages, but a virus happens, and uh, Davis's friends start dying, and, uh, the priors, who are the perfections, uh, refuse to acknowledge what is happening, and everything, um, and then Cole, but then they start falling in love, and apparently their love can save the world. Their love can be the only thing that saves the world, but that's really cliche, but, like, I'm enjoying it so far, it's pretty good so far. And it's not a very hyped book, like, not a lot of people have been reading it or anything. But I hope this is pretty good, as I'm already enjoying it and everything. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give this a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below to see more of me. Also comment down below what you plan on reading in March. Um, this month, technically. Um, and everything. So, um, yeah. That's it for this video. Bye guys.